Hi guys, I am Tripura Alapati and I am a makeup artist and in this video I am going to create this beautiful look. This is my take on the clean ghoul makeup look that is going around quite a lot. It's nothing but no makeup makeup look you guys. But yeah, it is my take on that. Before we get into this video, please subscribe to my channel. That will mean the whole to me. And also, if you can, please follow me on Instagram. I create so many fun reels and different looks there also. So let's get into the video. Let's start with the brows. And for my brows, first I am going to use the Benefit Brow Setting Gel to set my brows in place. I am coating my brows with this. I am applying a generous amount of this. Now I am going to take a spoolie and brush my hair in the upward direction and taking the edge and running it so that the hair will stay in place and flat as you can see. Continuing the same thing. Doing the same thing on my other eyebrow too. First I am applying this brow gel. This is actually a very good brow gel. Once I use this my brows are staying in place. Also guys, please ignore the way my hair is. I did the best I could. I mean like, I understand why people do this hairstyle because you know, it will give you a snatched look. But oh my god, it's just so painful you guys. Definitely don't do it on everyday basis. And to fill in my brows, I am using one of my favorite brow pencil that is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. That's it you guys, I'm not going to overdo the brows. Doing the same thing on the other side too. I am someone who strongly believes that the way you do your brows can entirely change your look. Do it the right way and your look just warm. I'm going to use the Elf Putty Primer as my primer today. And I'm going to just dab it here because you know it will actually help to fill in the pores. This is a good primer but I don't know what the hype is about you guys. You know, good one but I don't understand what is so there in this that it's so much hyped. Now I'm going to use a concealer that is a darker shade than my usual shade and I am going to use it on the areas where I have pigmentation. Don't drag the product you guys. If you are dragging like this, what actually happens is you are just taking the product from that area. So just dab it in. Now I am using a foundation and for my foundation today I am using the Tia Face and Body Foundation in the shade 4WO. And now I am using the pack 247 brush and blending it in. As you can see again I am just using the dabbing motions. I am not dragging it. Now I am going to do the contour part because I don't want to use the concealer as of now. I first want to complete my eyes and then use a concealer. So first doing the contour. Picking up the product and placing it. This is such a beautiful creamy contour stick you guys. The moment I got this I am just using this one. And for my blush today I am using the Elf Putty blush. I think using a lot of cream products actually help with this look. So I am just applying a little on my nose too because I love it. And a little on my chin. Again I love doing that. Don't worry even if you feel anywhere that the product is little overboard because you know once we powder it everything is going to get down as you can see my skin is looking so dewy now i'm going to use the morphe jacqueline hill volume one and i'm going to take a brown shade from the palette casting of the excess and i am going to concentrate the product on the outer corners of my lid And at the end, I'm just pushing the eyeshadow away so that I'll get a winged effect. So I will keep on increasing the intensity until I'm happy with the way it looks. Placing the product, mostly concentrating on the outer corners and blending it. I'm now going to take a deeper shade of brown and I'm just concentrating on the outer corner. Now I'm picking up this lighter shade of eyeshadow. And I'm just dabbing it 
on the inner corners. The reason why I am using a lighter shade of eyeshadow on my inner corners is because I have small and hooded eyes you guys. So whenever I use a lighter color towards the inner corners, it gives the illusion of bigger and elongated eyes. Now I am going to use the Inglot Gel Eyeliner and I am going to do a little wink. A very little wink. Looking up straight. Once I am done with my eyeliner, I am going to use a concealer. So I felt I went overboard with the concealer. So I took a sponge and I am using a sponge to blend everything in. The reason I am using a sponge here is because makeup sponges will help to soak up extra product. Now I am going to set everything in place using the Charlotte Tilbury setting powder. I recently got this powder so I am still testing it out but as of now I definitely think this is a beautiful product. Now I am going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara you guys. And now I am using the pack highlighter. I will mention all the products below you guys. To finish off the look, I am using this liquid lipstick from Faces Canada. This is the final look and I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. See you all in another video.